Hi everyone, our topic for today is chromosome painting and bending pattern. Here, we'll discuss functional elements of chromosomes and consider how chromosomes evolve through rare rearrangements of ancestral chromosomes. In non-dividing cells, individual chromosomes are not visible, even with the aid of histological stains for DNA or electron microscopy. However, during mitosis or meiosis, the chromosomes condense and become visible in the light microscope. Therefore, almost all cytogenic work, that is study of chromosome morphology, has been done with condensed metaphase chromosomes obtained from dividing cells, either somatic cells in mitosis or dividing gametes during meiosis. At the time of mitosis, cells have already progressed through the S phase of the cell cycle and have replicated their DNA. Consequently, the chromosomes that become visible during metaphase are duplicated structure. Each metaphase chromosome consists of two sister chromatids which are linked by the centromere region. As seen in the scanning electron micrograph of condensed metaphase chromosome, it has replicated and comprises two chromatids, each containing one of the two identical DNA molecules. The centromere is required for the chromatid separation late in the mitosis. The number, size and shape of metaphase chromosomes constitute the karyotype, which is distinctive for each species. In most organisms, all cells have the same karyotype. At the time of mitosis, cells have already progressed through the S phase of the cell cycle and certain dyes selectively stain some region of metaphase chromosomes more intensely than other regions, producing characteristic bending patterns that are specific for individual chromosomes. Uh, as seen here, these uh, G bands produced with GM the stain are useful marker for identifying specific chromosomes. Uh, shown here the chromosomes from a human male that was subjected to brief proteolytic treatment and then staining with GMs are reagent. The resulting dark bands at characteristic places are distinctive for each chromosome. Now, uh, this method of uh, spectral karyotyping is the variation of fluorescent in situ hybridization that is fish which makes use of probes specific for sites scattered along the length of each chromosome. Uh, this uh, probe seen here are labeled with several different fluorescent dyes with distinct excitation and emission wavelength. After the probes are hybridized to chromosomes and the excess are removed, the sample is observed with a fluorescent microscope in which it detects to determine the fraction of each dye present at each fluorescent position in the microscopic field. Uh, then this information is conveyed to a computer and a specific program assigns a false color image to each type of chromosome. A related technique called multicolor fish can detect chromosomal translocations. These chromosomal translocations are associated with certain genetic disorders and specific type of cancers. For example, in nearly all patients with chronic myelogenous leukemia, the leukemic cell contains the Philadelphia chromosome, that is a shortened chromosome number 22 and an abnormally long chromosome number 9. Here, uh, the stands for derivative. 